the bank as a capital allocator consumes a huge amount of rent. Like my, I get nothing on my deposit and you pay 12% on your loan, right? Yeah. yeah. In a DeFi ecosystem, I get now 6% and you pay 9%, right? Or wh whatever that is, because we're taking that overhead of the bank out of the, out of, out of the equation. And so I think there's a huge opportunity there. And that's, that's one of the reasons why, you know, over the course of many years, we've accumulated billions of dollars of loans on public chain. We use provenance. We've got, I think, over $11 billion of locked loans on there today. And we're adding about $750 million a month uh, today in, into that. And what we're now doing is bringing that onto DeFi applications, initially figure markets, where people can lend against those loans. And, and, you know, they, they're competing with the same people, the same institutions that lend against those loans, like Goldman and everyone else. And what we intend to do is take those loans onto other networks like Solana and Stellar and, and others where they can feed those DeFi networks as well. But the, the goal is to use our credit as a catalyst for this and, and demonstrate a roadmap where other credit will come in behind us. And the, the benefit of perfected lending, especially when you stand up an AMM or, or some kind of liquidity for the assets that you're lending against, is you don't have to look through to the borrower, right? You're not underwriting figure. You're underwriting the collateral and your ability to get your money back if, if you know, there's ever a default or, or you know, miss a covenant. So, so we're pretty excited about this. And we think the un unintended second order consequence of the stablecoin bill, which is pressuring bank balance sheets, provides a phenomenal opening for DeFi and for the development of, of a better way to finance credit. Yeah, I, I think you're absolutely right. I think there's going to be a explosion of the use of a lot of these technologies. I think the banks know that, that they are going to be disintermediated and potentially have, you know, a lot of interest in this space. 